Okay, so here we are. US 30 is about to open up. It's currently 9.30 a.m. At least it should open up right now. And if it doesn't open up now, then chances are trading is gonna be halted for a bit. But let's see what happens. Let's see if I can spot any divergences, if I can spot any kangaroo tails. I've been killing it with indices this past week. So if you look here at the account history, uh, I got stupid me, this account, I told myself I was only gonna use it for indice trades, but I actually, where's the history? I actually got into gold trades and uh, GBP USD, that was a good trade. It ended up falling down even lower to like 60 or 80 pips, I think. But I closed out around 40 pips. But stupid me, I got into other trades like gold and silver. And that was a bad day today. So yeah, I should have just avoided that. But this account was strictly for US 30. So from now on, I'm only going to do US 30 on this account. So there's no more confusion. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> just woke up. So yeah, it looks like trading's halted for a little bit longer. Yesterday when the market opened at 6 p.m. EST, which was on a Sunday, I watched as it gapped down and it fell straight down. So I, the entire time I watched it just plummet. So that would have been an amazing trade if I got into a sell. But yeah, as you can see right here, we have bearish regular divergence, but no arrow appeared, no kangaroo tail. So that's why we never got into it. Well, looks to me like it's not gonna open up. So I'll just stop the video. Oh, Todd just messaged me and said, why didn't price move yet? Price is at 2,490. What? Oh, I, thought you, I think you mean 24,900. Okay, let's take a look at where 24,900 is. Whoa, no way. 24,000. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure that's a typo. He told me price is at 2,490, but I'm pretty sure he meant 24,900. So if that's the case, if it spiked up to 24,900 from here to here, that is, oh my God, 29,000. 766 pips. I don't know if I'm reading that right. It's either 29,000 or it's 2,976. One of those. Uh, yeah, I honestly don't know which one because <laughs> my broker is different. Oh, he's looking at S&P 500. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's take a look at S&P 500. I could probably trade that as well with them. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's exactly like I was expecting. So that means gold is going to shoot up. So let's pull out metals and XAU, USD. Okay. Damn, look at that. That's insane. Okay, so on the 15 minute time frame, we have kangaroo, and on the five, we have a regular divergence. So we also just hit, we also just hit support on the daily. And if you look at it on the weekly, Fibonacci to here, we just hit 38.2. So this could be forming a head and shoulders, so it continues to fall straight down. So what I might do right here is I'll probably get into a buy because if US 30 is going to gap down, then it's game over. Watch this. So where's, okay, here's S&P 500. Here's gold. So there we go. So gold, you know what? Even though I said I'm not going to do any more trades for gold, let's just do one more. So that's my buy for gold. I'll place my take profit right here. That's only on one mini lot. So that's going to be uh, 800 pips on gold. And then for S&P 500, he said that it gapped down. So it should be gapping down here to 24,900. Yeah, right here. Man, that's insane. So US 30 should gap down as well. Oh, there we go. My gold trade's already 20 pips in profit. Just waiting for S and P five hundred and US thirty to open up. Looks like they're not open yet. US dollar should fall. Yep. US dollar should fall from here. Okay, it still hasn't moved. Pretty sure it's just trying to react to it. Okay, so for VIP members, I'm gonna call out the buy right here. Stop loss right here, 1450. Take profit is gonna be 
1537.48. So I have my finger ready for a buy. So as you can see right here, we have bullish regular divergence on the one minute. And we still have these kangaroo tails. So I'm getting ready. If I see that push up just a little bit more. My guess is I right here it should push straight up. Okay. Also, because if you look right here, Right here, we have multiple wicks. One, two, three, three wicks right here. And there's one top and two top. I only see one top here. So this could potentially shoot straight up to create a second top. Okay, I'm just waiting for US 30 to open with S&P 500. Come on. It already opened up on the other exchanges. It's just not on the Forex platform yet, which is weird. So... It's not opening up yet. Okay, daily time frame right here. Here's my pip counter, negative eight pips. I have my finger ready for a buy. Right now is the perfect time. And this is going to be a risky trade. Waiting for a good entry for the members. Okay, that's going to be 55 pips. That was very close to being a kangaroo tail right there. See, there's a kangaroo, there's a kangaroo. That one looks more like a pin bar than a kangaroo, but very close. Let's see if this is still a good entry. Yeah, we have the inverted hammer right there. If I remember that name correctly, that looks like an inverted hammer. So, it could be a good sign for a reversal. This one's probably going to hit my stop. That's okay. Just draw some trend lines and see what's up. Okay, we had a perfect rejection right here. So, from, uh, from this wick to this wick. So, uh, we made a bounce. So chances are, looking at this now, I got a bad entry. This might just shoot straight down to touch a trend line, then spike up. Or it could just spike up straight from there. So that's why you got to be careful. Chances are, now that I'm looking at this, it could create a wick. It could create a wick down here before it spikes straight up. But I don't know, man. I just want I just want to enter it so bad. See, is it open yet? Wow. S&P 500, US 30 aren't even open yet. Or at least not on this broker. All right, I'm going to enter it. All right, there we go. Trade has been called out for VIP members. All right, this is probably, 
the biggest trade I've done for VIP so far. Yeah, the stop loss was so close. But so the stop loss is at fourteen fifty. Let me just lower this a bit because And the take profit is 1537.48. Okay, there we go. There's a huge probability that this is gonna hit my stop loss just because of how close it is to the stop loss. But at the end of the day, we never know. Anything's possible. It could just shoot straight up from here. Obviously, I don't want it to hit my stop, but I'm leaning more towards it hitting our stop loss. Okay, S&P 500. Oh, my God. S&P 500. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. So assuming this thing keeps on falling, uh, gold should just keep on spiking up. Like gold should just shoot up. Look, look at gold right now. Okay. Yep. There we go. We're up 30 pips on gold. I don't even have, why, why am I looking at my trading thing when I can just look right here? I keep forgetting I have this pip counter. Shout out to my buddy Todd for giving me this pip counter. I'll probably link it down below if uh, you're watching this. If I put this up on YouTube then. So this is going to be an 800 pip trade. All right. So right here, 800 pips. Let me show you why I got into this trade. So here's why I got into this trade. I got into this trade because of what Todd and I discovered. So I taught Todd, my buddy Todd, how to trade divergence. And he researched something called the kangaroo tail. A kangaroo tail is a specific kind of reversal candle. It's very similar to a pin bar. And there's a bunch of free pin bar indicators on the market. But the thing about kangaroo is that it's slightly different than pin bar. So you want to have a kangaroo tail indicator and not a pin bar indicator. That's what we've learned. So I'll also leave a link down below to the kangaroo tail indicator that we're using. Uh, it is a paid indicator. I'm pretty sure you can find some free indicators out there. So it's not like you're forced to buy this indicator or you have to use it. This one costs like a hundred something dollars. It can get pretty expensive, but... To be honest, I, you know, we were too lazy to go searching the internet for free versions and testing out different things when we can just find a plug and play system, which is what we did. So, uh, see, so look at that. This thing's going crazy. I'm just worried it's just going to spike straight down. But, okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Look, we have a kangaroo tail right here on the one minute time frame, and we have bullish regular divergence. So remember, not every trade is going to be a winning trade. But remember what I said, if you're in my VIP, I, I told you specifically that if based on our trading strategy, if you see a kangaroo tail after the after the regular divergence, that's a good sign that it's going to spike in whatever direction you're trading. Right. So in this case, bullish regular divergence symbolizes a, a reversal to the upside. And if you see a kangaroo tail after the regular divergence, that's a good confirmation that the reversal is imminent in the near future. And in this case, because of how volatile the market is, this could possibly be the spike. So that's why I set my stop loss right here. I just set my stop loss right here because if this thing ends up going wrong because of this whole coronavirus stuff and because of how volatile the market is, that if it's wrong, it's just going to tank and it's going to tank really hard. So again, the reason why I bought this right now was because look at S&P 500. It just gapped. So, oh, see, here's a perfect one right here. I could have bought right here. Um, so that kind of worries me now that I'm going to buy for gold. If I see bullish regular plus a kangaroo tail, I could easily just buy this and it'll most likely ride up. So I'm, I'm kind of worried about that. But I don't know. We'll see. 
I'm ready to buy for this, so I'm not going to change my direction. But, but yeah, 800 pips. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I am worried about this trade. I feel like it's just going to spike down and hit stop loss. But, um, oh, yeah, let me show you why I placed my take profit here. So if you look on the weekly time frame right here, it's a shoulder. So head, shoulder, and we could be forming another shoulder right here. So I don't want to place my take profit at the tip of the shoulder because there are some times where the shoulder doesn't completely line up or it's not completely symmetrical. So if you draw your line in the middle of the head and shoulder, sometimes it won't go up to the top. It'll go like lower and then fall. So I'm trying to keep it at a decent take profit. So, you know, whatever. If this trade hits take profit, we could literally stop trading for the rest of the month of March. I'm not even joking when I say that because of how crazy and how volatile the market is right now. We do not want to take any risks with getting into too many trades. Uh, last week, we lost 89 pips. I got into a few trades and then I'm like, you know what? This market's really crazy. I even said before the market opened, I said, this week is going to get very crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about last week. I said, this week is going to get very crazy. And if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not used to trading, stay out of the market altogether because you're either going to lose all your money, you're going to blow your account, all this stuff, right? And I'm thankful I didn't trade at all last week, even though a lot of members were like, hey, we want you to trade. I'm like, well, trust me, you don't, <laughs> especially because I was very stressed out because I just moved into my new apartment. I was moving stuff around. So yeah, it's one of those things where I... Uh, I didn't want to trade while stressed out and the market was so volatile, just like it is right now. So uh, this is the one trade. If this one trade hits take profit, we can chill. We can literally just chill for the rest of the month and not have to worry about getting into a bunch of trades because this will be an 800 pip trade, 814 pips. And yes, because of the pip calculation with gold, you will actually earn that amount depending on your lot size. So if you trade a mini lot like I'm doing, then you'll make 814 bucks on this trade. So yeah, there's no way that this is going to hit the take profit um, right now during this video. It's going to take maybe a day, a day, day or two, because I'm looking at this daily candle. And if you look at this daily candle, huge chance that it's not just going to spike straight up. It's not just going to spike straight up by 800 pips. Uh, it, this is probably going to spike up here to where this is, where this resistance is based on this wick. And then when the next daily candle opens up, it'll probably spike up even higher. So that's why. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set my stop loss to break even. This way I am guaranteed protected. And I'm going to do the same thing for my VIP members. Um, 1454.73. There we go. Stop losses at break even. So we are guaranteed safe. Okay. Stop loss at break even. Original entry. There we go. So right now we are currently in floating profit by 113 pips. Can you see that? Yeah. 113 pips, 100 something pips. So. Cross your fingers. That's not crossing my fingers. Cross your fingers that this does not go down and hit break even. I can almost guarantee you it will, but I'm doing this right now because of how volatile the market is. The last thing I want is for some crazy thing to happen and it just reverses by 200 pips, right? So remember, if you can become a break even trader, if you can set your stop loss to break even once you're 50 pips in profit, 50 or 100 pips in profit, I didn't want to set my stop loss to break even until I was at least 100 pips in profit for this trade because it's a big swing trade. This is 800 pips. So if I did 50 pips, you know, that's kind of too small to set it to break even. You want at least 100 to 200 pips for a big swing trade like this. So kangaroo tail plus divergence. Shout out to you, Todd, for finding the kangaroo tail. It's funny. Uh, he didn't discover it or anything. He just read it in the book Naked Forex. So this is the one time that I will say reading Forex books can be good as long as you actually take advantage of the information that you're reading. Don't just read the book and then throw it away or put it in your, you know, in your drawer and never read it again. Actually do some research into what these books are telling you. So the book Naked Forex 
showed Todd what the kangaroo tail was and he researched it and he back tested it and he wasn't using divergence at all. He was just using kangaroo tail. Then I told him, Hey, why don't you try combining kangaroo tail with regular divergences? And he's like, Oh damn, that's a good idea. Let me try that. We both started trying it out and I started dominating indices. He started dominating indices as well. He showed, he was trading just Tesla. So he was just purely trading Tesla and he was catching like 500 pips a day. I'm not even joking, like 300 pip trades, 200 pip trades. I'm telling you, Todd, I mean, Todd has come such a long way ever since I showed him divergence and I have blown up as well just from this kangaroo tail. So kangaroo tail indicator plus the true TL OBV divergence indicator, I disabled hidden divergences and I only enabled regular divergences. So this way I can only catch reversals. So I only get into the trade if the kangaroo tail appears after the regular divergence, all right? Just to make that clear. So look, we're already 126 pips from profit. If I really wanted to, I could close the trade right now and everyone would be happy. But remember, take the risk or lose the chance. The reason why I say that is because I would rather attempt to catch uh, 800 pips than only 140 pips, right? So... That's it. This is me trading live. It is currently uh, basically 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I woke up pretty late today around uh, 8 or 9. I usually wake up around 5, 6, or 7, but because I just moved into my new place, I got a new bed. I got a new pillow. This pillow is very thick. It's, it's purple. You know, the website purple.com. So I got that purple pillow as well. I'm used to flatter pillows. And this one's thick. So my head is naturally like raised up while I'm sleeping. So I'm trying to get used to it. But you know what's cool? Even though I've been waking up a bit sore every morning because I'm trying to get used to the pillow, I've been having very lucid dreams every single night. I sleep on that bed. So that is a plus. I'm having very lucid dreams and I'm starting to um, feel really good in the middle of the night, you know, waking up, I feel pretty great. Even though my back hurts a bit, I'm trying to get used to it. So I think this just means I've been sleeping on a bad bed this entire time. <laughs> my, my entire life I've been sleeping on bad beds. So I think that's why I'm trying to get used to this purple mattress because I'm not used to sleeping on a good bed and on a good pillow. So anyways, uh, that's it for this video guys. Take care. Shout out to Todd again. Links are down below. Um, uh, the link for this broker I use for just trading indices. I'm trading this forex pair also just for the sake of this video for this uh explanation video but uh yeah link is below i only use lqd fx for indices i only use it for indices every once in a while i'll do a gold trade here and there like i'm doing right now but i only use it for indices uh let me show you here so actually before this trade i had a pretty bad day look at this it was all red like i, I just lost 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 i put an extra 2k in and then I kept losing. And so, uh, but yeah, so let me take you back to the beginning. I put in $1,000 into this account. And then here are all the indice trades. So where's it? You see right here where it says US 30. So all this is US 30. And right here, see, I caught $586. Uh, and this is all with one mini lot, by the way, with one mini lot. So 586, 382. 126, 88 dollars, right? And so, yeah, that was easily a thousand dollars right there. And the thing is, the the pretty stupid thing with this broker is that, let's say for example, you catch a thousand pips on US 30 on an indice, you're actually making half of that with your lot size. So, for example, if I'm trading a mini lot on a thousand pips, I'm only going to make five hundred dollars. So, this trade right here, this five hundred eighty-six dollar trade that was actually a 1000 pip trade. So I did a thousand pips in one trade and that's because of exactly what I showed you. I only got into the trade if I saw a regular divergence with a kangaroo tail after the divergence or at the end of it, right? If I see a kangaroo tail before the divergence completes, I don't do it, so yeah. So this was a good confirmation right here. So anyways, that goes to show you can have wins, losses. See, even though I had this big losing streak, I'm still very profitable because of the trades I did before and look at these trades right now, right? So assuming this trade were to be a success, uh, you know, I could hold it up to the 800 pips and that's great. 
But even if it goes down and hits a break even, at least I didn't lose anything. And look, I'm 140 pips profit. I was up 200. So at the end of the day, this is a, this is a uh, successful trade in my opinion. Doesn't matter if it hits break even or take profit. This was a successful trade. So this is how I trade. I know a lot of my followers have been requesting that I trade <clears throat> that I trade live on video. I'm not comfortable yet trading live, mainly because it's just it's a different environment for me. So I'd rather trade live by recording myself on the screen and doing things. So anyways, we'll see what happens. I honestly don't care if this hits break even or not because we're guaranteed safe. So take care and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Okay, so I'd say about 15 or so minutes after I made that video, I hopped back on, checked my computer because I got a notification that bearish regular divergence plus a kangaroo tail just appeared. So that right there was a confirmation for me to close the trade. This is on the one minute time frame for gold, by the way, because gold is so volatile, I could easily look on the one minute chart for these notifications. So this is where we got into the trade right here. We saw bullish regular divergence with the kangaroo tail spike straight up and we manually closed right here, which was at about 300 pips. So uh, VIP members caught 300 pips for that one trade and that pretty much secured the bag. <laughs> so last week we lost 89 pips before I stopped trading for the rest of the week to protect us from more losses in case the market was really crazy. Very glad I did that. And uh, so right now we just made 300 something pips. So after everything that comes out to 299 pips so far for the week, and right now today is Monday. So on a Monday, we're up 299 pips for the week. So uh, after all wins and losses accounted for, so that still makes us very profitable for the entire month of March, uh, even though we're halfway through. So that concludes the video. Uh, thanks for sticking through it. I didn't want to edit the video at all. Um, the only edit was me recording this second part right now and then just adding it to the first part. So if you had the patience to sit through a 30 plus minute video, pat yourself on the back because people's attention spans aren't that high. So <laughs> take care, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Damn, look at this, 153 pips. I think it's just gonna fucking shoot up. Maybe, we don't know. But where am I at? I break even now. We're up 186 pips within seconds. You guys just saw this. My original game plan. Uh, let's just see how high we can go. It may just fucking hit my stop loss now, but we're up 200 pips within seconds. Take a couple pictures. Uh, let's just see how high we can go, man. Let's see how high we can go. And I just hit TP. I should have let that run, actually. Well, I didn't realize my TP was still there, but we caught fucking 320 pips within seconds. That's how you trade. Hey, man, my 320 pips stop or uh, take profit hit within 60 seconds.